Hi beauties, so today I wanted to talk through some of the features and benefits of our Guide Eyeliner Duo. And so let's start with the wand itself. So I know when we think about a lot of traditional eyeliners, um, we hold pencils and, and, and brushes. Um, we hold them horizontally, right? So horizontally, and we come in, whether this way or this way, our arms a little further away from our face, and we apply like that. With the wand, I want you to think about applying everything vertically. Because when you do that, and the hands closer to the face and the arms closer to the body, you automatically start to get a little bit more control over your application. Let's start with opening your Guideline Cream Eyeliner. Now I just wanna point out the Guideline Cream Eyeliner, this is what we call a hot pour. So we mix up our eyeliner, and then uh, when we pour it into our jar, it's, it's actually still hot. So we're pouring it in hot, and then we let it set. And when it sets, it creates this really beautiful seal on top. So when you first open your eyeliner, you may notice that it feels a little firmer on top, and it's sort of meant to, that seal sort of locks in all that goodness. And so you want to sort of work through that seal a little bit, but unlike maybe some traditional tools where you might look to sort of dig into the cream, everything we're doing with the guide wand is a gliding motion. So think about it like um, you want to you want to glide across it like ice uh, or like ice skating, right? So we're not gonna we're not gonna dig in, we're not gonna dive in, we're just gonna glide. So the first time you use it, you may again you may need to sort of work through that little seal. And what I, I sort of recommend doing until you kind of find your footing, you kind of want to find how much product that you want to use, whether you like sort of a softer look or a more dramatic look. So maybe the first time out, go ahead and just coat the underside of the applicator tip. So there's two sides here. There's the top side, and then there's the underside, the side that curves towards the eye. And when you're first using your guide wand and your guide eyeliner duo, start by just gliding that underside. So you see how you're sort of pressing in and pulling across and you don't need a lot so that's actually all you're trying to do you don't need to coat the whole thing it's like a thin coat um sort of yeah thin coat around the applicator tip and when you glide underneath you're getting enough product just at that very tip when you go to apply so let's try uh, a top line um one thing i don't know if you can see this but when i apply my eyeliner i have a mirror here oh, it's heavy um when i apply it so i actually tilt the mirror up a little bit so instead of like that I'm tilting up so that I can almost look down at my eye because that way when I look straight ahead you're sort of you're blocking your vision a little bit with your lashes but when you look down you actually can see above the lashes and into the area that you're going to apply liner so um, if you don't need necessarily the extra studying you can hold like that come in rest and just start to Press or glide that color right across the lash line, just like that. So you can see I'm starting with just a little tight line. For me, because my hand shakes a little bit more, I actually rely on this part, that rounded edge we talked about of the wand, and I rest it against my cheek first, then I tilt, and then I just glide right across the eye, just like that. So that's if I want a nice thin line, right? And that's just coating the underside. Now, if you're someone who likes a little bit of a more dramatic line, or if you're just sort of working your way towards um, a richer to positive color, then you can go ahead and start by coating the underside, then flip over and coat the top side. That gives you a little bit more product and it'll give you a little bit richer to positive color. And so you'll start to see the difference between, you know, what you like, because it's all personal preference. And again, same thing, I rest, I tilt, and I just go ahead and I draw that color right across my lid. Just like that. So it's super easy. It really, the, because you're coming in vertically and because you are using this thin, long precision sort of base here instead of a pointed tip, you cover more area as you go. So you'll find it just glides super quick and easy. Uh, and that's the top line. What if you wanna do the water line? So you're always thinking about where you're applying is where, how do I say this? Where you're applying um, affects where you're gonna coat your applicator tip. So let me start by actually wiping the applicator tip off and I just wanna show you super quick and easy because that's all it takes to, to wipe and clean up the guide wand uh, flexible 
applicator tip. So if I want to do the waterline, that's the area right underneath my lashes, I'm actually going to be stamping underneath, which means I'm using the top edge of my applicator tip. So now I only need to coat the top side. And then again, see, very little, don't need a lot, thin coat. I'm gonna ground, I'm gonna tilt, and I like to start at the outer corner of my eye, tilt, and then I'd either just push or I just draw that color right across. See, just like that. Now, what about the bottom water line? It's just the opposite, right? Because when I rest, you can see which part's gonna fall on the waterline. Bottom waterline is the underside. So now, I'm just gonna coat that underside. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna get that mirror a little closer so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna tilt, and I'm just gonna draw right across, just like that. So. Again, you're gonna kind of find your footing and, and find your glide. As long as you are working with the formula, because it's this beautiful, rich, pressed formula with a guideline, uh, it's meant to be a little firmer than a traditional sort of cream style or gel style eyeliner. Um, and that is because of the glide motion that you're working with here. So as long as you think about it as like, you know, skating along the ice uh, and not diving in the pool, you're in, you're in good shape. So uh, again, one side or both sides depending on so if i'm going to do that top line again uh, i glide both sides but maybe again start with the underside for that top line above the above the lashes and if you want a little bit more you can coat both rest tilt and just trace that color right across the eye if i want to go underneath i'm using that top If I want to do bottom waterline, I'm using the bottom or underside of that applicator. And then you notice I actually like to, now you can do whatever you want here, but I actually like to, when I'm doing the top line, I like to start in the center and just sort of draw out and across. And a lot of times that's all I'll do and I'll let the mascara kind of fill in what that gap would be. But if you want to come back in, you always can. You can sort of come back in and you can see my hand has a little shake to it, but resting the wand against my cheek first helps steady that little bit of shake so that I can get the control and I can get that liner and the precision tip applicator to land exactly where I need it to be. So this is sort of the beauty of the design of coming in with your application, coming in, um, I always mess it up, vertically instead of horizontally, getting the wand close into the body, relying on that soft hold, and then just allowing the, the uh, the applicator to rest, find your footing, and then just glide right across your eye, sort of trace that color or stamp that color. And that's it. And when I'm done, I of course, go in for my mascara. Just like that. I'm gonna try not to make the funny face I always make when I put on mascara, but it's unlikely that I can control it completely. I think everybody has a funny mascara face. Um, mine might be worse than most. So now I'm with my left hand, which tends to be a little shakier sometimes. And just like that. So I hope that helps. Just a little bit of, um, of information around the guide wand and the guide eyeliner duo. Explore, have fun with it, um, and enjoy artistry made easy. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Talk to you soon.